Well, if you're aware of what's going on right now in Egypt, um, I know there's a lot of videos here on YouTube. It's, of course, all over the mainstream media, which I try to avoid. But uh, there's a lot of rioting and trouble over there in Egypt. Uh, of course, previously we had Tunisia and, and pretty much all over the world. There's rioting and looting and, and civil insurrection and things like that. And a lot of people are wondering, is that going to come here to America? And uh, I believe the answer to that is a definite yes. It's interesting because I was actually uh, talking with my father, and he is getting new health care and all this stuff. And uh, he was going through the paperwork there with the, the new health care. And he looked at the back of this one page, and I photo scanned it here. I want to put this up on screen so you can see it. You have exclusions and limitations. It says here, no benefits will be provided for or in connection with the following treatments, services, or supplies. Let's jump down to the second paragraph there. Any injury or sickness due to any past or present employment or that is covered under any worker's compensation law or similar law changes for self-inflicted inflicted injury or attempted suicide. Any treatment confinement services or supply provided by a government owned or operated facility. Well, okay, you know, yeah, sure, I can see all that stuff. You know, the, that a healthcare company wouldn't want to cover those, you know, types of self-inflicted there with the suicide type of thing, you know, or attempted suicide. Obviously, if they commit suicide and succeed, they aren't going to need healthcare. <laughs> so, but attempted suicide. Let's continue. Any injury or sickness resulting from war or an, any act of war declared or undeclared. Now it starts getting interesting. Acts beyond the company's control, such as any major disaster, epidemic, complete or partial destruction of facility, war, riot, or civil insurrection, which result in the unavailability of the facilities or personnel. Charges incurred as a result of participation in a riot insurrection or the commission of a felony. Hmm. Why would an insurance company be putting out a paper saying we're not going to cover uh, injuries that come from riots or civil insurrections? Do you think that they are expecting that to come here to America? Yeah. Pretty incredible. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm a Christian. Okay, and like it or not, the Bible said that this stuff's going to happen. Okay, all throughout the Bible, I'm not going to spend a lot of time here going through all the different scriptures, but the Bible talks about the end times. Okay, now a lot of people falsely conclude that this is the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. The Bible teaches that there would be the end times, and after that, there would be 1,000 years. Okay, so we're not even close to the end of the world yet. I mean, we're talking well over a thousand years yet into the future before the world ends, according to the Bible. But the Bible gives some very uh, serious predictions, some very serious prophecies, and they're all coming to pass, by the way. Now, the atheists, they don't like that kind of thing. You know, they're trying to get rid of the Bible because the Bible talks about sin. And see, they don't like the idea of sin. I've gotten into different debates with atheists, and I always ask them, are you a sinner? And if you're a sinner, according to the the Bible here, are you a sinner? And the Bible says that if you are a sinner and you die without Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you go to hell and you burn forever with Satan and his angels. That's where you go. And you say, oh, I don't believe in that. It's fairy tale and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. You're going to believe in it in the future. All right. It's coming. You're going to see civil insurrections. You're going to see riots in America. And I'm going to tell you right now, this country is headed for destruction because this country has turned its back against God. Okay? I mean, look at the back of the dollar bill, for crying out loud. Announcing a conception of a new order without God, seclorum. You know, you want, to see, you want to do things without God, without the Lord? Well, you're going to see it. You're going to see horrible things on the streets of America. And by the way, you look at the prophecies of the end times, and there's signs in heaven and in the earth, earthquakes, that's all coming to pass. I mean, nobody can say that the last 10 years haven't produced some of the weirdest weather 
And now, you know, here in 2011, we have all these animal and bird deaths and everything and fish and all this. Things are getting strange. And you say, well, we can just, you know, we can explain it away with this and with that. It's going to get to the point where you're not going to be able to explain it away. The Bible's true. And the only reason to reject this book, by the way, is because it talks about sin and hell and judgment. That's why people reject this book. But there's another thing in this book for those of you who really have a sincere desire to learn the truth, who really are curious about these things. Okay, there are some of you out there that are wicked, you're sinners, you have no desire to hear about any of this. Shut the video off, don't waste my time, okay? I won't waste your time, don't waste mine. But for those of you who have a sincere desire to see what's really going on here and to know about the predictions in the Bible, uh, you can study it, the book of Revelation especially, and you will see that the number one thing that you see in a lot of the prophetic scriptures is that there will be violence, wars, and rumors of wars. Okay, perilous times shall come, men's hearts failing them for fear, the Bible says. And that's all coming. It's happening right now, but it's coming. And you say, well, isn't there some way that we can get out of it? Well, we can't, I can't guarantee you that you'll get out of everything that's bad. We might have to go through some of these riots and civil insurrections here in America. I can't tell, that you, tell you that you'll get out of any kind of trouble. Uh, a study of Christian church history will show you that there's always been trouble. But what's coming in the future, the end times, the last days that the Bible talks about, God has enough of the sins of men and he says, okay, I'm going to pour out my wrath and my judgment on this earth. But before he pours out his judgment, he will remove those that are truly saved, the true Christians. And that's a very small minority, I'd like to add. Okay? You talk about the hypocrites and the, and the fake uh, faith healing you know, people on TV that are, that are after your money. They're not going to be leaving. Okay? A lot of those people are going to be staying. They're not real. They're not real Christians. Okay? I mean, I'd, there are people that profess to be Christians that hate my guts, okay, and that we don't get along at all, all right, and it's not just a difference of I have my ways, they have their ways, no, I know the truth, and they are against the truth, they hate the truth, and of course the Bible talks about that too, there's a lot in the Bible to say about that, but right now if you are saved, you are a member of the body of Christ, and it's kind of interesting, I will turn to one portion of scripture here, uh, when God's wrath is poured out, obviously the body of Christ cannot be here for that. Uh, it would be God pouring out wrath on himself, which would be kind of a problem. The book of 2 Thessalonians talks about something here in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. It says, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Okay, there is going to be a man that's coming here uh, to this earth who is going to basically profess to be God. Okay, he'll pr probably profess to be Jesus Christ. I'm not sure. But this man, known as the Antichrist, is going to lead the coming new world order. It's coming. So I don't believe in it. You'll see it. It's going to happen. But the thing is there, there's something that is letting. Okay, and you say, what's letting mean? Well, the word let in the King James Bible means hinder. Okay, there's something that is stopping God's wrath from being poured out. You see, because it's God who opens the first seal which unleashes the Antichrist. So what is it that is letting? What is, is it that is hindering? Some people say it's the Holy Spirit. Well, in a sense, yes. But I think that there's a better explanation of this passage. And that is, the he who now letteth is the body of Christ. You see, Jesus Christ, I am part of his body. The Bible talks about that. The Christians are part of his body. We are part of his flesh and of his bones. We are members of the body of Christ. So Christ's body is here on this earth. God's wrath cannot be poured out until that body is removed. And it's interesting because if you look in the book of Revelation, chapter 5, it talks about that there's a huge group of people in heaven that are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb out of every kindred, people, tongue, and nation. 
That's not Old Testament Jews. Those are New Testament Christians. Okay, there's going to be every, every race up there. Uh, there will be people from every race, every nation, every tongue, language in other words. They're going to be there in heaven before the Antichrist is revealed. We are the ones that are stopping things from totally falling apart. And when the body of Christ is removed, which is coming, I believe very soon, I can't give you a date, I'm not going to be a date setter, but I believe it's coming very soon. And when the body of Christ is removed, if you think it's violent now, it is going to be a nightmare here on this earth. And, I mean, it's going to be bad. I'm telling you right now. So, what are your options? Well, your options are you can get saved. Okay, go to my channel, my home page, or my channel page there here on YouTube, and you can look at the salvation message. Uh, if you have any more questions, contact me. Um, get, your, get your life squared away. Get yourself right with the Lord, with your Creator, with God, through faith in Jesus Christ. Man, that, that's so important. But you say, I don't want that. I, I think that, you know, if you think I'm a fool and you think that, you know, you're ma mocking me or laughing at me or whatever right now, well, then uh, you can stay here on this earth and you'll eventually see the proof that the Bible's true. Okay? And you'll probably go right on into the coming New World Order and you'll take the mark of the beast and you'll die and you'll go to hell and you will burn forever. Just as simple as it is. Or you might be lucky enough to actually be one of the ones that gets to enlist in the Antichrist army at the Battle of Armageddon. You say, oh, that's funny. This is all just a big joke. We'll see about that. Okay? But the Bible predicts that violence would come. One of many prophecies that are given in this King James Bible. Okay, don't mess with the other versions either, by the way. But the Bible predicts it. And here's proof that I believe it's going to start coming to America. I mean, you can see it. You can see that there are people out there that we say, we have a Second Amendment right. You can't take our firearms away from us. And these people in the government, they just keep on coming and coming and coming. You vote down legislation, you say, no, that's unconstitutional, you're not allowed to do that, and they just come right back. It's coming to a point of violence. Okay, I wish we could talk out our differences. I wish we could get things settled peaceably. But it's going to come to a place where violence is the only, only thing that's left. Okay, People come and they say, you will do this stuff. And you say, but that violates my rights. You know, well, can we talk about it? No, because we're going to pass laws. Well, I can't obey those laws then. I mean, if you come and you say you're going to steal some of my property and you're going to put me in a camp or something, and I haven't even done anything wrong, I can't do that, okay? And, and there are millions and millions of other Americans out there that are the same way. It's going to have to come to a point of violence. But at some point in time, in this time period, God is going to remove the body of Christ from off this planet. And by the way, if you're an atheist and you've made it this far, that's really what you should want, Okay? I mean, think about it. What a wonderful thing. Get rid of all the Christians. All, no more Bible thumpers. No more videos here on YouTube to mess up your little puny minds. I mean, that's what you want. I mean, if you're an atheist, why don't you try praying to God and ask God, you know, say, I don't really believe in you. I'd like to see proof. Get rid of these Christians, please. I mean, that should be the atheist prayer, you know, atheist prayer request. Get rid of the Christians. Okay, I mean, really, you want proof. You say, show us proof, show us proof that the Bible's true. How about getting rid of the Christians? That'd be good, wouldn't it? Okay, you'd have your proof, and you'd get rid of all the Bible thumpers. I mean, why don't you pray for that? That'd be a great thing to do if you were an atheist. I mean, just be tremendous. So, that's it. Violence is coming. Hard times are coming. You better get yourself right with the Lord. There's not much time left. Okay? You miss it. You blow it. You don't get saved. You don't get to be part of the body of Christ. And the body of Christ leaves. You're going to have gods. You're going to face the wrath of Almighty God. Man. Wouldn't want to do that. So, that's it. Thank you.